Good morning. It is the year 2024. I'm in front of the Aria 2024 sign that everybody's taking pictures in front of. It is third day three, okay? And I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know what happened last night, but I went up to bed probably around nine o'clock because I was so tired. And I ended up going to sleep. And I didn't wake up till like 6.30 this morning, so I feel incredible. More incredible than when I flew here. So we're looking for a big day. It's moving day. We're heading down to the other end of the strip to the Venetian, actually staying at the Palazzo. So I've already checked in there online. It's just a matter of how long before they text us the room for it. So I had uh, three comp nights here. And with uh, gold, you don't pay tax. It's a resort fee, so it's really free. So I actually booked three days here, even though we only stayed two. And that way, we don't have to worry about 11 a.m. checkout. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? because we really got to check out by 11 a.m. tomorrow. So we could just relax here until we get a message from the Venetian. And once we get that text message, we can shoot on over to the Palazzo and we know that our room's gonna be ready. So that's pretty incredible. It's uh, tips that we learned, tips, tips to trade step outside to show you how Vegas is all the time. You see that bright thing in the sky? That's called the sun. If you're from Ohio, I'd like to introduce you to the sun. Anyway, we get to just relax, check out whenever we need to to head over to the Palazzo. So we're very excited about that. I think Heather slept pretty good too. Then I say, that I think Heather slept pretty good too. She looked at me this morning, she's like, you know, we should probably extend our flight till Sunday. Stay a couple extra days. And I'm like, whoa. Oh. So that's a possibility. Let's see how it goes. So thanks for kicking it out for us. We're gonna make it happen. Get it going, let's warm up here. Hey, there she is. There she is. Honey, tell everybody how you're feeling. I'm feeling fantastic. I got coffee, I'm in Vegas. I got a slot machine and I got my husband. So I just went outside and I in introduced all Ohio people that are watching to the sun. <laughs> I haven't and seen it let them know what it looks like in uh, January. It's not an illusion. Not a you know fiery ball in the sky. It's and I also real. was telling them a couple things that you must feel good this morning because you asked to extend this day. I did. And the other thing yeah. I told them was uh, for New Year's resolution, I'm going to try to quit saying so and but. What about um? Well, I I'm okay with um because um is just. Something people say while they're thinking of what they're going to say next. But, <laughs> see, when you say but, and I always do, okay, we're going to play a few slots and have some fun, but, or, so this is what we're going to do, okay? So we're going to play some slots, and uh, then we're going to go to the Palazzo. So we'll see you then. It's, it's just so annoying. So I'm going to try to correct that. So if you're out there in the YouTube lounge, land, I'm aware of my issues, okay? I'm aware. And I'm going to work on it in 2024. All right, let's have some fun. All right, Mom. This is for you. Here's a $20 bill. First thing you do is you put your player's card in the machine. This 
is what gets you valuable player points. So you gotta make sure it's green. Alright, so that gets you the player points so that you can get free rooms and stuff. Here's your $20. I'm gonna put it in here. And it'll register right there to be a twenty dollars. So I thought I would play a little Mexican theme. X Wheel Chili for you. These are the bets, 75 cents, $1.50, 220. We're gonna do a dollar fifty bet. So every time we hit this button, a dollar fifty will come off of there. Here we go. Hopefully we win. Okay? Nothing. Oh, we want something there. So we won three dollars and thirty cents on that. You're up thirty cents right now. It's pretty exciting. We're gonna go until you're bankrupt or until I get a bonus. How's that? Do it, do it. If we get six of those, we're in a bonus. If we get three of those, we're in a bonus. Come on. Two, three. Come on, give Juanita a bonus. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Mom. Oh, one more. Oh, one more. We would have had a bonus. Hey, Mom. You're down to $7.56. Do it. Oh, so close. There we go. $3 left. Two chances. One. Two. There you go, Mom. Twenty dollars. Two minutes, and it's Gonzo. That's how it works. We could have won big, but we didn't. But I tried. Now they got a bonus. I would say this is your first bonus of day three, but you already had a bonus, didn't you? Yeah. But it wasn't great. So let's make it happen. Make it great. Make it better. All right, somebody sent a manager to this uh, slot bank because uh, that was just wrong. Nice right, line hit. She said time for a big surprise. Heather got three games and she said time for a big surprise. Look at this, I'm 65. $142 line hit. Alright. I never heard her say it's time for a big splash. Surprise. Surprise. Come on, baby. Do some special thing where you rub something. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Three.
pressure, but I make it happen. Boom.
All right, I'll bring you back. Tell everybody the plan. Okay, so anyway, we... Tell everybody the plan without saying so or but. Okay, I can do that. We are currently going to get on the tram to go over to the Bellagio and see their new machines, hang out a bit, maybe look at the conservatory, and then we're going to come back here, check out, and go down to the Venetian Plaza. Very well said. Not to mention the live stream, the Fountain Blue. See, Bellagio. Ah, exhilarating. All right. So by Posh Burger, if you go out those doors and up this moving stairs, also known as an escalator. We get one of those scooters. We could do the boot scooting boogie, and then we could sing. They keep me rolling, they hate it, trying to catch me riding dirty. It's a new way to stay and play at the Park MGM. Uh, you guys hear Heather go, oh, this is why. The other one's done. All right, a lot of steps. I hope the payoff's good. Look at this, at the top of the steps is the... Park MGM. Park Jam Jam Pool. Must be heated because people are swimming. Alright. Should tell us when it's coming. What's it say up there? Five minutes. Five minutes. Transportation Center. So, here it comes. Slowly but surely. I think a good plan would be we're going to take this over to the Contemporary and we'll get off there. Contemporary? Yeah, and we'll get off there and then I think we're going right across the street to the Magic Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd like some Dole Whip and some. They have that Dole Whip stuff at the Thomas. But we're going to the. Disney World, Disney World. I think Benjamin. you're in the wrong place, honey. Seven Doors Mine Train. Well, we'll bring it. We'll bring it along. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final boarding call, and the doors will be closing soon. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To those guests who've just joined us, welcome. Our next stop is the Magic Kingdom. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the door. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please.
Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Just dump us off down here. We don't walk around the corner past the patisserie and the chocolate fountain. And we'll be at the conservatory. Honey, this place right here, it's essential for every trip. I vow, I shouldn't say this on camera, I vow to lose weight. Oh, okay. He said it, not me. What is it? Second day of January. I vow to lose weight by my birthday, March 3rd trip here, so I'm on the hook. So on our December trip, I came over here to record all this, but Heather didn't feel like making the trip, so this is her first time seeing the holiday conservatory decorations. trick to the Bellagio Conservatory, guys, is to try to walk through without getting in everybody else's photos. Or, just to keep waving and photobombing everybody's oh, that's photos. that's terrible. If we photobomb, we could probably be in pictures all over the world of folks. I know. I was telling them if we photobomb, we may show up on the mantles of families all across the world in their family photos. We could potentially, yes. All right. We're going to go in here for a little bit, see you in search of some new games. The new wins. Yes. And some piano players. No. We don't need a new one. He sounds good. Sing it, honey. I don't even know what song he's playing. All right, guys, I'll bring you around when we get some bonuses. I'm on the line, like two cents and I'm dollar fifty bet. I got a bonus. Third spin, so it's a quick bonus, but man, didn't give me anything extra. 20 bucks. All right, we got ourselves a couple of mimosas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is everybody out there? Oh, it's delicious. It is really good. Happy New Year. Make it happen. All right, I got the official picker here. Thunder drums. We got the jackpot bonus. All right, that's the mini. There you go. Come on. No mini. Mini time. The train is now approaching Park MGM and Aria Resort and Casino. We're back to Please the Please hold on to a handrail. Got the Welcome story. to Park MGM and Aria Resort and Casino. Bellagio, but we're Please heading to Bellagio. Please stand clear of the doors. Hope it'll be better. Yes. We'll see you there. Out. We'll see you there. We'll see you there. We'll see you there. The next stop is the shop. Gelato. 
we're checking out here heading to the palazzo but we thought we should probably go to the patisserie and get some gelato we had a my vegas rewards for about one get one free so cheers we got peanut butter and rocky road it's delicious mm -hmm. all right everybody if you notice behind me it's a little different view because we have arrived here at the Palazzo. Just an interesting story. We took an Uber from the Aria to the Palazzo. As soon as we got out of the Uber, one of the bell guys or whatever just quickly looked and says, your room's not ready. And I said, um, we checked in online and we got a text that said it was ready. Well, no, it's not. They just put you in the queue and they just say that. And I'm like, okay. And, and then I don't I don't know why he said it I don't know what he I don't know what I don't know. The only thing I could think of is he wanted to take our bags and get a tip. But we went inside. I went to the desk. There was nobody in front of me. I walked up to the desk, gave the guy my ID, and he says, "I had you on 15, but you're not close to the elevator. Let me move you to 34." And we're close to the elevator. And it took about what two minutes to walk in the door and get to our room yep. so we're here we're excited about it i think you saw it comes with the tv which is always a good thing in las vegas okay it comes with the heather yes beautiful beds a lovely closet here we're gonna do this quick and then we have the two step down deal to the living room. This is a standard suite at the Palazzo. They're all what they call suites. So I haven't even been down here yet, so you and I are gonna enjoy the view together. There's a desk and a mirror so you can look at yourself to make sure you're really doing work. Oh, the view's amazing. So we have pool view here. When Lake of Dreams view there, the beautiful resorts world, and the wind golf course. I love it. I still want a pedal ball on this green right there. Don't know if I'd make it, but I'll try. All right, so our destination is right on the other side of the wind encore. We're going to settle in here real quick, get to the Fountain Blue, hopefully have a good connection because we'd like to do a live stream since it's new and we've never been there. And I'll just show you the bathroom, stand-up shower, Bing. beautiful tub, double vanity, TV, and Heather loves this part little place to get ready and of course a bathroom so I hope you enjoyed that little mini tour uh, we will catch up with you in a moment I'm gonna go ahead and unpack and then we can make it happen I feel incredible we are off yes to the fountain blue yes to try a live stream yes notice I always say try Try live stream. Yes. Oh, I can be challenged. We'll see you there. I made it. All right, it's found blue. We got preferred parking. They said we could go ahead and park right there. So uh, we're rolling here. Ladies and gentlemen, Fountain Blue. Lobby. All right. Looks amazing. It does. Yeah. Shoot some hoops. Yeah. Think you could get the uh, rent a basketball how back there behind the desk. <laughs>
All right, we were pretty lucky. We got an Uber, came quickly, got us here quickly. This looks like, um, what's that crazy? Rainforest Cafe-ish? Kind of, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Can you connect to the internet here? I'm gonna try. Because that's important. So I heard someone say that the Fountain Blue was pretty awesome, but it is so big and there's so much wasted space, I immediately understand what they're saying. Yes, I agree. Because we've been walking for quite a while and seen nothing um, except for this bar area. And then now we're in the casino. I'm not saying that's negative. I'm just making some short observations. We need to find the rewards desk so we can get a card. Right? Yes. Look at Beautiful. I'm surprised the carpet is blue. Why? Well, it's fountain blue. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's walk over there straight up. Okay. If you like high ceilings in a casino, you're going to love Fountain Blue. Alright, I'm going to cut this off. We'll pick up a little bit later. We're going to try to get our bearings in here, okay? We'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys, we're going to take a little walk to the back. And then I think we're gonna call it. Head back to the Palazzo. We haven't even really been there yet. Checked in and came straight here. Look at this price strike, babe. Give it a go. Give that a try. Oh, look at these money bags over here. Look at that one on the left. Oh, I don't like that. This washing potato. All right, that's a little look of uh, Resorts World. I said I didn't know. Look at the lovely upholstery. Alright, this is uh, Mother Wolf, the Italian restaurant. Very nice in there. Alright, we had so much fun today. It's almost 7 o'clock and we just realized some one very important thing. We haven't eaten. I need to eat. What do you mean? Breakfast? We have not. We have ice cream. Did we have lunch? Nothing. Oh. Did we have gachi? We had no, nothing, nothing. Niente. Niente? Is that actually how you say that? Niente. Okay, yeah, we have that. All right, so I think the plan, hold on. I think the plan is to show you this Make It Happen Thought hoodie. Okay, I think the plan is gonna be, we're gonna go check out Black Tap. Yeah, so but the wings again, they're so A burger good. and teriyaki, sesame wings, or something like that. Yeah. So. And maybe another cocktail. Maybe another cocktail or six. <laughs> or, did you say or six? Yeah, my lips are chapped, honey. I need to numb Chaps them up. <laughs> nope. All right, let's see what hotel we're looking at. Here again, folks, all this empty space. It's like, I don't know, we could do blind country line dancing in here. North Valley Taxi. I'm a man, so I was just gonna walk around. Yeah, there's a woman. She's gonna ask a guy. Look at this, guys.
This is a beautiful lounge. Collins. That's right, we came in by the uh, Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> oh, hold on, back to the lobby here. A lot of open space again. Honey? I don't know, honey, I got you flowers. Oh, they're beautiful. Are they real? Oh, they're real. Smell. They're real. Mmm. I followed its wise suggestions, one of which was stop and smell the flowers. Seriously? Please. <laughs> All right, we made it back to home base. We're now back at the Palazzo. Thank you. You didn't do it? Well, I tried. They didn't answer, so I'll wait for them to call back. So I guess we we got to go through restaurant row over to the Venetian because yeah, you like go that. We're going to try, see how busy it is. But it's probably not going to be too bad. Even so, if it is, we'll go play a little bit. But we're happy to be home, okay? Yes. Yeah. It always feels comfortable. Look at the new sphere signs they have to direct That's people. Fun. Yeah, it just feels like home. I one agree. day, one day, I wouldn't mind calling it home. Not the Palazzo, <laughs> but Las Vegas. That way, when I'm dead, you can bury me in the desert. All right, we'll bring you back when I get to the... Well, let, let's walk for a second. You know what I've noticed? The people that are walking in your path don't move. And they're rude. I don't like that. Yeah, I feel like I'm always They always say, excuse me. Saying, excuse me. Right. Or when you're in line, people try to just step right in front of you. They don't care. Right. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. Alright, guys, we'll see you over at the Venetian side. It's the Black Tap in the Venetian slash Palazzo. We have been there before. We'll probably go there again. I still have yet to have the big fancy cake shake, but the signature Wagyu Steakhouse Burger at $28.50 is absolutely juicy and delicious. And those Korean barbecue wings are $18. They're covered in sesame seeds. They're sticky. They're crispy. They're amazing. We added some cheese to the fries for $4. Rounded out our bill at $64 at the Black Tap. Check it out, you won't be sorry. You'll be thanking me later in the Venetian slash Palazzo. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that vlog. It was a fun one in Las Vegas. It's time now for a very special edition. Drama field, controversial comments in reply. If you watched our last video, of uh, day three in Las Vegas vlog, um, you would see that at one point in the video, Heather comes down, she's not real happy because a few things happened, and I, uh, I didn't, I didn't quite sympathize with the sadness of the situation, and I got called out for it. So let's start off with this first comment, and it comes from Susan Williams, 2459, and Susan says. 
I'm so sorry, Heather, that he put you through that. There is no excuse for him treating you like that. You will always have that in your mind and in your heart, and I will too. Especially every time I see what he calls this blog that does not include your name. I'm so sad for you. And I'm sad too. I'm sad that I treated Heather that way. I'm sad that you feel this way. From the bottom of my... From the... sad. I'm not upset. I'm not sad. I don't even understand it. So, <clears throat> the channel's called Make It Happen with Don. Because I started a few years ago during COVID and I was, it was a cooking show. Like I was doing recipes at home and cooking because it was COVID. Everybody was locked down. We were bored. And Heather said, hey, go for it, babe. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of this. I want no part of it. So I thought, okay. Make It Happen With Don is the name that I landed on because if I'm cooking, I could say, hey, let's make it happen, making chicken. Hey, we're going to Disney now, let's make it happen. Hey, we're going to Vegas, we're going to the beach. We're doing this, we're doing that. We can always make it happen. So that's why I went with that. And Heather said she wanted no part of it. So it's called Make It Happen With Don. As far as there's no excuse for me treating Heather like that. I don't know how I treated her. She came down, she was upset. Go back and watch the last video and you'll get it. So she she got locked out of the room. She lost the back of her earring. And I'm sorry, but I can't not laugh when I say this. Some rough things happened, you know, like difficult things, but we were in Las Vegas. So I'm like, ah, right, you know, I got, my key didn't work at Resorts World once and you need it in the elevator and I'm tapping and tapping and it wouldn't work. So pretty soon I have to take the elevator all the way up to the, very top floor, then I had to take it all the way back down, go to the lobby, stand in line for like a half hour, get a new key, go back to the elevator to get the room. And it was off what stopped, but I was still in Las Vegas. I still had Randy's donuts. So when Heather came down, she was upset and hangry, and I was kind of saying how she just wants me to listen and understand how she feels. Maybe, maybe I took it a little, maybe, maybe. A little bit too far. Maybe. But it's okay. You guys got to understand that I'm always like that. I do feel bad for Heather. But understand this, that Heather and I, we bicker, we pick on each other. We have so much fun. Sometimes we argue. Sometimes we flat out yell. Hundred percent of the time, within five six minutes, it's forgotten. We've moved on. We're having fun again, and it's over with. In the past, in the history, never to be brought up again. So that's one great thing about the uh, relationship that we have. So nothing ever lingers. So everybody's fine. There were no humans injured in this video that we created. But uh, I do appreciate you sending that in, Susan Williams. I do apologize if it upset you. But really, I do. I fit upset you. I didn't mean to upset you. We're just having fun. We're just two people trying to get through life having fun. It is a very dark world that we live in right now. The world's gone crazy. It's gone mad, I think. So it's, you know, we try to inject some humor and some lightheartedness. But that's just me. So I hope you enjoy the vlogs for that. Let's do another one. All right. All right, Peggy. Peggy Miller 8371 says, when will husbands ever learn? It's your fault, period, end of story, and you should have fed her. My husband used to walk around Vegas with a small baguette in his pocket in case I got hungry. He was keeping the world safe. Did you find the back of your earring? All right, first of all, let's address the end of that. Peggy, I have no idea if she found the back of the earring. I didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, I don't know. Those things aren't made out of diamonds, are they? They're just a back of the earring. Don't you have extras? 
So I don't know about that. Here's your question. When will husbands ever learn? Short answer, never. Never. We will never learn. We are incapable of learning. Incapable. Not capable of learning. So I ask, when will wives ever learn that husbands will never learn? See, I think Heather sets this expectation up here when I'm only capable of getting to here. And then that gap is where I get myself into trouble. I don't know. I don't know. There's a reason why there's a best-selling book called Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus because we are two different wired human species. Okay? You know, just... It's just we're two different things. So the best uh, relationship and advice I could give right now, and everybody's like, you shouldn't be giving anybody relationship advice, you nut job. But all I could say is manage expectations because we'll never learn. We're not capable of learning. Peggy, you know we're not capable of learning. But I do appreciate that message because I can see your humor in there. I get it. You're being funny, and I appreciate that. As far as the baguette, don't be surprised in a future video if Hangry Heather comes around the corner and I'm like, wait a minute, and I pull out a baguette out of my pocket because I think that's fantastic. What the frig is this? A pipe of There's nothing in it. Maybe a Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hangry. All right, how about one more? One more comment. Let's do another one. Let's see. I'm going to give this one to Heather. No, no, we're not going to do that one. Sorry, Don, but at the risk of losing my man card, I'm going to have to give this one to Heather. No. Listen, no. You should lose your man card. You know who you are. And we are going to have a conversation. Hmm. I'm not an eyeball. Because we're going to be in Vegas together next week, Mr. I'm not even going to mention your name. You know who you are. I'm just playing, but we'll, we'll talk about it because this is fun. This is fun. Okay. So let's do one more. Uh, here we go. Best second chance. Best second chance gets it. You get me. You had me at best. Best second chance says you guys crack me up. Love the videos. That's the idea. If we crack you up, thank the Lord because that is the idea. Now, we're not injecting scripted written jokes. This is just me 24-7. That's why I feel bad for Heather, because she's got to deal with this 24-7. And nothing scripted. It's just when we do our vlogs and I tell Heather, she's like, oh, you got to edit that. And you you know it's not getting edited. If she says you got to edit it, you know for sure it's not getting edited, right? Like if you've seen in the past me picking up the bone and chewing steak off the bone, I'm sorry, some people might be repulsed, but that part right by the bone is the best part of the steak, and I would have picked up the bone at home. So, uh, you know, wing sauce all over my face. I'm going to get into it. But, uh, yeah, we appreciate that comment. Best second chance, thanks for checking in. Listen, everybody, look what I got on here. The hats. Live lucky. Make it happen with Don. So the hats are in. Now, I got to figure this out. I got to figure out, finish the website. Amy, thank you for helping me with that website. I got to get up and running to sell this merch. A lot of YouTube guys have merchandise, but they use a company called Shopify and other third-party places where they just send them a graphic and they print up t-shirts or coffee mugs or whatever it is. They subscriber goes to that site buys the product they pay shopify packages ships it and then they just cut the youtube guy a percentage and and he's out of it or she's out of it i didn't want to do that because i told you if i'm going to have some merch it's going to be quality you get what you pay for i want good quality stuff so these black clover hats are 100 percent authentic from the street from the black clover clover company they did the embroidery I had to send them my logo, so I got to figure it out. I'm not sure. Do I have to pay? Do I have to charge taxes? I don't know. So I'm going to figure it out. I know we're meeting a couple people next. This is, you're going to be watching this on tomorrow, Monday. And then the following Monday's video, we'll be in Vegas. March 3rd, we'll be in Vegas. We're meeting a few subscribers. They reached out to me. They said, hey, I see you got the hats. 
So I'm going to have some hats with me if we run into you there. Um, we could sell you a hat. Stand by for future information on that. We have several styles, several colors. I just wanted to let you know. That's why I'm sporting the Live Lucky hat. And we want you to live lucky. Subscribe to the channel. And leave it a thumbs up if you like the channel. I always say this only if you like the channel. If you don't like the channel, click the thumbs up button three times. See what I did there? Live your blessed life because you were blessed. We are blessed. We are grateful. We're thankful for all of our subscribers. We love you. Check out the slideshow. All the subscribers that we meet fall in the slideshow. As we meet more, the slideshow will grow. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We love you all. And we'll see you next Monday. Thank you.